Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Geeky Sparkles, but we're going to talk about Doctor Who. I thought this was pretty interesting. We're going to talk about a couple of things here. One, uh, the official Doctor Who Twitter account is celebrating the five-year anniversary of the announcement of Jodie Whittaker taking over the TARDIS, and it did not go the way they were hoping. Have to give a hat tip to Brian Urso for tagging us in on that. We'll talk about the ratio, how ratioed that uh, the Doctor Who account was. Uh, people saying, hey, it's been five years since you've completely destroyed the show. Five years since you decided you were going to retcon the show. The show has been trash. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. And then we're going to talk about Colin Baker, the sixth Doctor, um, making some statements that are pretty interesting given some of the stuff he said in the past. He basically was talking about Russell T. Davies and the direction of the show going forward that he thinks Rus Russell T. Davies will uh, guide Doctor Who with a very deft hand and won't give in to uh, the complete wokeness that a lot of people seem to be asking for, demanding from Doctor Who. Now, I don't know about that. Uh, Russell T. Davies' current year is not the Russell T. Davies of 2005. But I think it's pretty interesting that Colin Baker is basically like, yeah, Doctor Who's uh, gotten a little too woke. He was actually praising Jodie Whittaker, if, if I remember correctly, when she was announced. It was like, hey, good, we don't have a middle-aged white man in the TARDIS or something like that. And now he's like, yeah, uh, Doctor Who might be a little too woke and Russell T. Davies might have to rein it back in. I'm not convinced that uh, he is going to save Doctor Who at all, but uh, it's nice to, to hold out hope I guess, uh, you know, we'll see. Anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 272,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about Doctor Who not nearly as much as we used to. I had a little glimmer of hope uh, for Russell T. Davies coming back, but, um, you know, that was quickly dashed by some of the stuff that's that's gone around, rumors uh, for the show going forward. And also the fact that they're not going to undo the uh, Timeless Child. Now, uh, Shooty Gatwa, I think his name is Shooty Gatwa, who's going to be playing the Doctor. I don't have any problem uh, with him as the Doctor from what I've seen. He's actually a pretty funny guy. But as long as that, uh, that Timeless Children retcon stands, th there's no way the show can, can move forward for me. Because it's like you've already ruined the history and the mystery of the Doctor. But uh, this is pretty interesting. It was put up. Uh, today, Doctor Who, the universe is calling. Five years ago today, Jodie Whittaker was first revealed to the world as the new Doctor. And of course, you've got uh, Brian Urso saying that it's been a lazy, sloppy show. But uh, some of the other responses. Thus began the worst downward spiral into near obscurity in the show's history. That's true. Um, five years ago, the ratings tanked and fans left the show. Uh, Mecca Random. Oh my gosh. It's one of those YouTube people. Uh, I deserved better as a woman. Now we have to wait just four more months until her era finally ends. Hard to believe it's only been five years since they broke it. It's only gone from bad to worse ever since. And the show has been going down the toilet ever since and losing huge amounts of viewers. It isn't even being watched in America. That's true. Uh, the views are awful. A sad day it was. Haven't watched a single episode. I have no intention of changing that plan either. The best doctor. <laughs> It went to hell, no wonder why the TARDIS threw her out. The universe is calling. Now half the universe is left destroyed after the flux without any explanation. It went to shit. I love the idea of a female doctor and thought Jodie was going to be amazing, but in my opinion, it hasn't worked. I don't think Jodie's doctor has enough personality about her, and the storylines have been poor. Hopefully the return of Russell T. Davies will see the show fly again. Chibnall gave us the laziest, dumbest, and dullest Doctor Who we've ever seen in its history. The parts I can actually remember make me cringe. Now we're calling for Russell T. Davies to save us from this mess. Are there any positives? God, she's had some killer effing episodes. Well, there we go. There's a positive. Fugitive is the first one that comes to mind. I must have missed the killer episodes. The one I watched were poorly written lecture fests. The day Doctor Who died. Thank you for 54 years. Why is this read like a tombstone? Because it is. Was genuinely excited when she was announced, but her performance turned out to be really bad. No depth to her acting or doctor at all. She wasn't helped by having terrible stories either. A completely wasted opportunity to bring on Russell T. Davies 2.0. Her, uh, 
heard the anniversary story is called Final Destruction of Credibility. All went to shit after that. My God, it just goes on and on. All went to shit after that. Dr. Doofus arrived in the laziest, dumbest era of the show began. Oops. Um, here we have one all the way down, Dr. Hugh. Thank you for my favorite doctor. There's one. There's one or two. Your favorite. Did you not watch any of the other doctors? The day that Doctor Who died, the universe is calling. It's out of toilet paper and needs a plunger because the first female doctor, played by Jodie Whittaker, who we will lovingly call Dr. Karen, clogged the toilet with too much garbage. Hiding the replies now. That's cute. Um, the reply is hidden by the author. Base tweet got sent to the shadow realm. Now the universe is saying, bugger off. I personally like her as a doctor. I just dislike the retconning of their past to such an extent that the doctor uh, ceased to be an exceptionally smart, kind, and courageous time lord and became the origin of the time lords, more time lord than all the time lords that lorded time. I kind of like that. More, more time lord than the time lords that lorded time. How many time lords does it take? Um... I remember hoping for the best and the series started airing. It was just one disappointment after another. I actually was willing to give her a chance. Uh, I was willing to give it a chance, uh, you know, until the retcon. But actually, no, not not entirely. Three episodes in, I'm like, you know what? I'm out. I'm out. This is very, very preachy, uh, very ham-fisted, very magic school bus. And uh, I am out. Perfect day to announce the title of her last story. Um, wish she could have been under RTD2 and not Chibnall. Uh, but she will be missed. She was ab absolutely robbed of good writers. I I'll agree with that. I think that she could have been good. She could have at least been passable. But unfortunately, they got the worst writers in the history of New Who uh, to handle these seasons. It just goes on and on and on and on. Five years. That's about how long it's been fucking shite. Um, looking at the numbers. Yeah, you've done better. Yeah, it just goes on and on. Completely ratioed. Uh, for the most part, I mean, there are some people jumping in there, but a lot of people are just like, it's, it's over. Dr. Who's over. So this was kind of interesting again about, uh, Colin Baker making the comments he made. And I thought I just kind of rolled into one video. It seems like that, uh, it was trendy five years ago to say that you were completely on board with them making Dr. Who a woman. Uh, probably taking the show in a more progressive direction because you don't want to be the bad guy. You want to make sure that you get invited to the Doctor Who conventions, that you get to do more big finish audio stories, right? So, um, you know, he's getting kind of kind of blasted here on Twitter. I will put a link to this video, uh, Colin Baker on future of Doctor Who and Russell T Davies. Uh, again, I think this is a is this a BBC channel, uh, Red Carpet News. But yeah, he actually said it. He said that. Uh, he doesn't think Doctor Who should necessarily go in a more woke direction. He thinks Russell T. Davies needs to, to rein it in a little bit. And he wishes uh, Russell T. Davies the best. He's probably hoping for uh, for a cameo himself at some point. But uh, the only one that really stuck to their guns, uh, as I recall, is um, Peter Davidson. Peter Davidson got blasted absolutely thrashed when you know they announced Jody Whittaker and he was like he mourned the loss of role models for boys the fifth doctor he's like I'm actually sad that boys don't have a role model anymore now his daughter is married to David Tennant um yeah I don't know how many people know that but uh so I, I have to wonder you know how many conversations uh were there and David Tennant's actually friends with Jody Whittaker so I, I'm like, how many tense, uh, uh, tense family dinners were there, you know, talking about Doctor Who, or maybe, maybe the rule in the house is you don't discuss Doctor Who, you know, you can talk about anything, but you don't discuss, maybe you don't discuss politics, religion, or Doctor Who in the, uh, Davison household. I don't know. Um, pretty interesting stuff though, guys, but there we go. That did not go the way they thought it was going to go for sure. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.